All right, so next up, guys, we got our two current events topics and one along the lines of some topics that we've discussed earlier. You, of course, like, you know, earlier last year when we had the homegirl Kashima on the show, shout out to you. We talked about the Fab situation with him and his wife, and we have something really similar right now. Anybody who's been watching the news knows that Dr. Dre suffered a brain aneurysm, I want to say two weeks ago. <clears throat> yep. And was in the hospital. Uh, you know, luckily he's recovered. We've gotten updates from Snoop and um, and LL Cool J. He posted a picture of him in the studio, you know, on the road to recovery. So definitely thankful that one of our, you know, legends, icons in hip hop is is healthy. But then we also are dealing with the divorce. Um, Dr. Dre and his ex-wife, Nicole Young, are going through a really nasty divorce. She's asking for a lot of money. He's saying no. Um, and now she is alleging that she was the victim of abuse at his hands for years and years and years. And these, you know, stories are kind of nasty. She said that he put a gun to her head a few times. Um, she did call the police once on him when they were together before they were married back in, I think, 98 or 99. And it just brings back, brings me back to this whole thing of how do we deal with our heroes being potentially these type of people? Not my hero, but um, <laughs> definitely for, I mean, I'm not shocked, bro. I'm not like, I'm not shocked by these things. I'm not, I'm never shocked. I don't know why people are shocked by these things. Um, people have issues. People grew up with issues. People express themselves and, very nasty manner sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's highlighted because they're celebrities. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know what I'm saying? This shit's going on right now at your next door neighbor's house. Sad to say, but it's the, it's the world we live in, right? So when I when I hear things like Dr. Dre, what I hear when I hear this is like, yo, shorty, you now leaving and you now getting divorced after years of abuse. It just sounds convenient, really. I mean that's 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 a perspective. That's, that's I know the that there are I have. there are a lot there are a lot of women who who do spend a lot of time with their abusers because they feel like they have no way out. Um, they feel like they don't have the support or the resources to get out, and they feel like they don't want to you know mess up their family unit. They don't want to you know uh, disrupt their children or their children's school life or home life. So that's what a lot of women sacrifice, I guess, to to stay in that situation. Um, I mean, she was, she's been with him for a lot, for a long time. There are a lot of people that would think if they're getting divorced, she deserves half. Sure. I don't even agree with that. You don't agree that she deserves half? I don't agree with, I don't agree with, I don't agree that because we were married, anyone deserves half. So that's that. Ooh, spicy. Yeah. Uh, I mean. I don't. I, I would say, I wouldn't my say. Heart on, my empire, my hard on money. What, but like, she's a part of that. No, that's fine. She's, half, a, she's so, a part of that. That's fine. My thing is half is the word for me. I don't think they deserve yeah. half. Do I, I sure mean, you I, want a percentage? Like if, sure. You need you need enough to survive? Sure. But I'm not gonna sit here and say because we were married, you deserve to have to upkeep your lifestyle to upkeep this lifestyle. No, that's also not true. I'm tired of seeing that. Sorry. I, I mean I, I, get a job. I get where you're coming. Get I get, a, get no, job. you're right. No, you're right. Everybody, if you got to support yourself, get a job. Everybody does it. Um, but if you help build, I mean, it's like the Jeff Bezos divorce, right? Like she walked away with a billy, more than a billion dollars. And it was because like she holds, like there's this value in holding down the home front. That's fine. There's value in being a support system for your man if, if he needs that. Um, there's value in, you know, helping have those conversations when it comes to business, like there's value in all of that. So I don't I mean, I don't, I mean, Dr. Dre is worth a lot of money and he's recently come into this money because he recently, you know, sold beats to Apple. Right. You know, so when they got together, yeah, he was rich, but now he's wealthy. Yeah. Um, and he didn't accrue that wealth by himself. You know, it was a lot of people along the way that gave him the time, the support to build that wealth. And she's one of them. That's cool. So to me, support isn't doesn't equate to half. I think it could. I think in some cases it does. Some. I think in, in this case it does, and it also in this case, like we got to deal with the fact that 
Dr. Dre has had a lot of nasty shit said about him for a very long time. Right. Which and this is, is not this is not this is not the first time that like somebody has said you put hands on me like from a woman's perspective. So we also got to deal with that and say, hey, like what does like with these allegations most likely being true? Like what does she deserve to walk away with? Well, with that, I mean. <laughs> what you you about to say half? What are you gonna say? Her pride. Her pride. I mean, I'm, listen, like, I mean, her pride probably got to the point where she felt like she could leave. No, I'm saying walk away with that. You know what I'm saying? Like that's probably the most. Yeah, I, but you got it. But you got to eat though. And listen, no, and I, no I understand women, you have to eat. I'm just saying, like, what like what do you walk away with right now? You, it's less about the focusing on the money. And so, yo, if you if, if you've been in a relationship where you've been abused, get out first. Worry about the money after. Like your mental no, she, health she is get important. Out now. Yeah, now she's worried about the money. <laughs> now she's worried about the money, which right. I think she should. And I and I and I do think that when it comes to being married to a high profile guy, like life after that isn't as easy as just getting a job for some of these women. And I'm not saying that like they are starving or anything like that, but it's it's very tough once you get out from under that for people to look at you and be like, I'm gonna give you a regular nine to five or I'm gonna give you a job here with all the stuff that they see in the in in the stories about you. And when it comes to Dr. Dre being the businessman that he is, who's really gonna look at, who's gonna really go like, you know, and cross him? To uplift her. I think she should get money to for to survive for the rest of her life, sure. Do I think she deserves half of his empire? No, I don't. But I'll say 40%. I would never go half. Half is crazy, I'll say 40%. Man. 40% is a lot. 40 is great. I think 40% is good. But like to your point about our heroes, yo, just men in general just need to do better. A gun to her head. I can't even. I can't even fathom. He's been accused of this stuff before, though. It doesn't make it right. I'm saying a gun to a gun to someone's head is a threat yeah. of, of of life. Mm-hmm. Crazy. It is nuts. It is nuts. And if it's true, we should be held accountable and go to jail for the rest of his life. 